This opening made me 1800 when I started chess. It is an easy opening, there's not really a lot of tracks or tactics about it. Uh, you only need to understand the idea of the opening and how uh, you can play correctly. Uh, so first you start with e4, you will play e5, you play knight f3 attacking the pawn, he will defend it. And now you play bishop c4. So right now it is an Italian opening. Uh, he have two moves or um, like best moves either he play knight f6 attacking the pawn or he play his bishop right away to c5. So let's see first knight f6 attacking the pawn. You can defend it with this knight to c3 uh, or you play d3 and you open for this bishop and you try to pin his knight or you can put your bishop to e3 it depends on you he can play the same like you you played your bishop to c4 he can put his bishop also to c5 uh, or he can play bishop e7 you before castling you can castle right away you can play c3 right now and have an idea like uh, attacking his bishop like if he castle um, you can uh, castle first you don't like you need to understand something about openings you don't try to attack um, and make some weakness before castling like most important about opening you try to make the king safe so first you castle then you attack him he will open for his black bishop for example and he wants to pin you and uh, now you can play this move you can play uh, your knight d2 you can play your bishop to uh, g5 uh, as you like here like uh, you have a lot of moves let's say you want to play aggressive and play a move like this he will return uh, now you have a problem that this pawn is being attacked by this knight because you played d4. Um, also his next move he will turn this knight and this pawn will be weak. So that one disadvantage if you play d4 fast right now. Um, like you can play h3 if you don't want to be pinned when you play d4 for example. He can do the same. He don't want you to pin this knight. Uh, you play rook e1 and like uh, now it is equal game. Uh, but real, real idea you will try to open the center now. But you have to use all your pieces. You have to play knight d2, maybe knight f1 and then knight g3. And you have control of the squares. Uh, then you can play your bishop to e3 because you can't play your bishop to g5. That's some ideas about this variation. If you castle right away, if you don't want to use your, if you want the bishop to be active, uh, more active, you can pin him first before castling. Uh, he can play d6. He can castle right away. Um, but now, if he play d6, um, is this what is weak for him? Like if you have knight c3, you can play knight d5 and his knight is pinned. He can't take this knight because he's pinned by this bishop. Um, but it's better, as I told you, king safety is number one in the any opening. Uh, he try, he can castle right away. You play knight c3, you will play h6 because this bishop is annoying for black. Uh, you don't take, like, it depends on you. You can take right away because you will take a tempo, like, you will take with queen. Because if you take with pawn, um, it will make a very big weakness for black. He, you will play knight h4, and then you can use your queen and you attack him. It will make a big weakness if he take with pawn. He have to take with queen. 
Now you will take a tempo by knight d5, attacking this pawn and attacking his queen. And best you have to return to d8 to defend this pawn. You can play in, uh, ideas like c3 right now and attack his bishop from here. You can attack his bishop from b4 and you play a4. Um, and white is better here. Like, that's a, a variation. If you take the knight right away, you can just return to h4 and make his game more harder. It is not likely that he will play g5. He will make some weakness in his king. Like, yes, your bishop now is somehow closed, but he opened on his king and made some weakness. If he didn't play right, yeah, you will be better uh, that if he play g5 right away. Uh, let's see the variation. If you didn't play bishop g5, you played uh, c3 right away. You still didn't castle. Uh, we saw this variation. Uh, I think uh, knight c3. He will castle. He can play h6, so you don't play bishop g5 and make trouble uh, for his king, uh, for this knight and queen, and you play knight d5. Like h6 is best move. Uh, you can castle. He will castle. Um, like now, you have a lot of moves. You can attack the bishop from knight a4. Uh, you want to use this bishop, so you will not play bishop e3 here, because you will make a weak pawn, and then he can attack it with knight, he can attack it with queen, um, but sometimes taking with this pawn is not bad, because you are controlling more the center, you will have a strong center when you take this pawn, but in some situations, not always. But it is not like a big uh, mistake or something if you want to play your bishop here in this situation. Uh, but the idea when you play knight a4, um, he returned to e7 for example, you want to use your bishop from here. Uh, you want to put your bishop in active place. Um, like from e3 or from uh, d2. Like it depends on you. Another variation. Okay, let's continue. If I um, let's say I castle first, I didn't play bishop g5. I didn't play c3. I didn't play knight c3. I didn't play bishop e3. You can play d6 right away or castling. Like most important moves for him is either play d6, castle or h6 to prevent you from playing bishop uh, g5 that's uh, three main uh, main moves for black so it don't matter like if you play d6 now he want to pin your knight if you want an easy game you don't want troubles you can play h3 if you don't want troubles uh, like bishop uh, here and pinning your knight just to play an easy move, h3. You will castle. You start to uh, use your knight from c3. Or do the idea of c3 and push on his bishop. Like most moves are common here. Like most ideas are common. You are attacking the center. You try to pin his knight. You are trying to take this spot to his knight. And uh, you will make some trouble for black. So it don't matter here if you play knight c3, you play h6, you don't play bishop uh, g5. You can play knight d5 right away. You can play bishop d2. You can play a4. Uh, you can play knight a4. Uh, trying to take this bishop, if he go here, for example, you play c3, 
you return your places you return your ticket pick with this pawn to open for his rook um, you can play your bishop to e3 or bishop to c2 uh, it depends on you now but the opening itself is not complicated it's really simple for beginners and easy like anyone can play this opening um, I didn't say a lot of traps in uh, this like I was saying the ideas more and the theory about the opening uh, I will try to create more traps in openings if you like it uh, don't forget to subscribe and like the video uh, also if you want to watch my previous openings I made an opening about Sicilian dragon and uh, Roy Lopez uh, 